Can large language models lead to dementia? This paper was just released by the MIT Media Lab, and their results suggest that the use of large language models like ChatGPT can lead to cognitive death. But is the title of this paper scarier than what the results can actually prove? Well, with the hype that this 206 page paper is receiving, I gave it a scan. Let me break it down for you so you can make your own determination. The first thing is that this paper only features 54 participants, and there's only so much diversity in terms of race, age, and gender that you can impart in a sample size that small. Number two, this study was only conducted across four months, which in my opinion isn't enough time to actually track brain atrophy. I'd like to see the study done across a year or even a few years so we can measure cognitive decline against LLM advancement and usage patterns. Number three, this study's design is too simplistic to imply causation. You have two groups that are writing an essay, one using ChatGPT, another using their brain, and the conclusion is that people that use their brain are more likely to remember what they wrote than people who used ChatGPT. That is not how I define cognitive debt. Is that cognitive debt or simply the absence of cognition? Which brings me to my fourth critique, which is that people use ChatGPT very differently. And I think that's an important interaction to capture with respect to cognitive dead or cognitive decline. Now, do I think that AI can lead to dementia? Most likely, but I can't use this paper to substantiate that claim. What this paper does tell us, though, is that people are not using their brains. People are using LLMs to replace thinking, and that within itself is a problem. Have you read this paper? Are you planning on reading this paper? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below.